Welcome to Echo Habs for Earth. Dr. Jeff here. Today we're going to be unboxing, installing, and testing this IMO weatherproof PV isolator switch to go with our EG4 6000 XP solar system. Both of these are from Signature Solar and they recommended this switch after watching our install video. It's going to safely isolate our PV system from the 6000 XP. I'll mount it right on the wall here, all with a nice click of a switch. So let's get going on this. First, let's unbox the IMO DC isolator. This switch has a weatherproof enclosure, which means you can install these out by your solar array. Inside the cover, we've got the switch, mounting screws, terminal covers, and a brief manual. It's important to note that the PV wires are paired diagonally from the top to the bottom of the switch block. You'll see this when we wire it up. The lockable handle lets us secure it in the off position. Rated for 32 amps and up to 1000 volts DC, it's ideal for our 4 kilowatt PV array and leaves room for expansion. This true DC isolator meets IEC standards. Mounted in the workshop next to our battery bank, the EG4 6000 XP powers our off-grid life with up to 8 kilowatts of PV input through its dual MPPTs. The outside solar panels feed high voltage DC, up to 480 volts. The DC isolator lets us safely disconnect both PV input channels for maintenance, troubleshooting. Its lockable handle ensures no accidental power ups. We will mount the DC isolator here in the workshop next to the 6000 XP. First, we confirm the outdoor PV array is disconnected and entirely shut down the 6000 XP. Safety first. We start by adding cable glands to the switch block. We then make pigtail connectors for the incoming PV wires from the solar array. These attach to the screw terminals on top of the switch block. Signature Solar has a helpful wiring video. Check the link in the description. Next, we secure the switch housing to the wall next to the 6000 XP. Then we attach the PV wires from the inverter to the screw terminals at the bottom of the switch block, pairing them diagonally as shown in the wiring video for our four pole configuration, handling both of our PV arrays. Now we take the cover off the 6000 XP and attach a ground wire from the switch box to the XP's ground lug, ensuring a solid connection to our system's ground. We replace the 6000 XP's cover, assemble the switch box, plug in the PV wires, and fire up the system. The EG4 app confirms PV input is restored and the system is running normal. Operating the IMO DC isolator is a breeze. Turn the handle to off to isolate the PV array. For maintenance, you can lock it in the off position. To reconnect, simply turn to on. The 6000 XP's dual MPPTs pick up the PV input instantly. This is perfect for routine checks, like inspecting outdoor panel wiring, or for emergencies like storm shutdowns. That's our IMO DC isolator install. Huge thanks to Signature Solar for the 6000 XP and the switch. Drop off your off-grid tips in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more Echo Habs for Earth content. Stay sustainable, and we'll see you next time.